Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Contreras, your assistant principal here at Memorial Elementary. I am going to show you this morning how to access your Google Drive and your Team Drive. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to log into Google Chrome. So open Google Chrome browser. And if you haven't done so, you open up a tab and you ensure that you are signed in. It should be up here should say your name. When you click on it, it should show something along the lines of uh, at houstonizy.org to make sure that you are signed in with your HISD account. Once you've done that, you're going to go all the way to the left here where it says apps. You're going to open up the apps and you're going to find your Google Drive. Once that loads up, you will look for your team drive, which should be on the left-hand side. Just a little note that you always wanna make sure that you look up here in this right corner, making sure that you are signed in uh, with your HISD account, because you can have different accounts, your personal, ones you made for school before you knew about Google Drive for education, things like that. You can access your Memorial 2.0 drive, and you should see uh the folders that um we created you should see those folders you could also right here in the top right you can change them into list view which i think is a little bit better find the lesson plan folder lesson plans 2018 2019 and you should see the uh, grade levels in folders. When you click on your grade level, you should find your last name, a folder with your last name on it. And that's where you're going to put your lesson plans. For example, here I have my week two lesson plan. Now, you can easily drag and drop files into this browser window from your uh, computer. So you can do that. You can also go here to this new button. Click on new and you can do folder upload or even file upload. When you do file upload, it will open up the prompt for you to load whatever lesson plans you have. What I want you to note is that the naming convention for the lesson plans, we want them and for it to say the week, which week it is, is it week one, week two, et cetera. Then we wanna say the last name, lesson plan 1819. One trick is that if you open your previous lesson plan that's already in there, you could open it up you can click on file, make a copy, and then you should see uh, the name of the lesson plan show up, copy of week two lesson plan. You can change it right there and then because it's gonna be your week three lesson plan and click okay. When that saves, you're gonna see, it says week three, your last name, lesson plan 1819, and that's exactly what we want, right? Now, you can then type in here and that's your week three lesson plan. We close these out. If you go back to the folder, you can see now you have week two and the week three lesson plans there. And there you go. That's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.